Trading Dilemma Having unrealized gains in a core holding in your account. We don't know what's ahead for 2022 or even in the last few trading days of 2021. Now, I don't know exactly what lies ahead, but I plan to be protected and to lock in gains. This situation does face us with a conundrum. What to do now? Do we close the entire position, take our profits, and risk missing out on further gains? Do we sell half, reducing our cost basis, and hope the stock will continue up in price? Do we set a stop or a trailing stop, which is really just assumed insurance and can come back to haunt us? Do we reward ourselves, sell a call to lower the cost, lower the break even, but then miss more potential upside if the stock does take off? Now, of course, we're lucky to be in this situation, but with SPY up 25% in the last year and several popular stocks up even more than that, we recently had a coaching session. A gentleman was looking to approach this with a large position on Tesla, and the cost basis was an amazing $230, with Tesla, of course, now almost at $1,100. Another customer I had a session with last week is holding Apple from back in October. And his cost basis is around $110, with Apple knocking on $180 going forward. Both were faced with a dilemma. What to do next? Let's take a look at some of the common gains over the last 40 to 50 days of trading. A webinar favorite, of course, is Tesla. It's had almost a 200-point run, up 20% in the last eight days. But the stock itself is even over the last 40 to 50 days as it flirted with 1,100, broke above that line, came back down to just below 900, and then had that run the last eight or so days. Apple, as we saw before, is another big name. And just back around November 17th, when it rose above the 20-day moving average, could have been bought for about $153. It's now currently trading around $181. Well, this is a $28 gain, or about 18% on the stock over 40 to 50 days. And what about CF? This has shown up on the preferred married put search on power options recently, and also back in that November time frame about 40 to 50 days ago. On November 12th, could have purchased shares of CF at $64.57, and today it's right around $74 per share. Well, that's a gain of $9.43, or 14.6%, with lulls, of course, in the middle. A dilemma. Let's say we did buy 100 shares of CF back in November at around $64.57. We could sell all of that stock now, taking a profit of $9.43 per share, or the 14.6%. We'd make a profit, which probably would have matched our trading goals, but we're going to miss potential further upside if the stock continues to grow. We could sell half, take in about $3,700, 50 shares at $74 per share. That would take the remaining cost down to $2,757, or $55.14. We could set a stop or a trailing stop. 5% below the current price at around $70.30, and if that trigger was hit, we'd only have a profit of 573, or still 8.8%, .8%, again, in about 40 to 50 days of trading. But what is coming up? Well, it's earnings season coming up soon. We could be positioned for large gains if we sold half, or if we set a stop order, but if we sold all, we're out of the picture, we might miss any good earnings surprises. Of course, we also know that a surprise can go the other way. And if we set a 5% stop against our stock, is that going to protect against an unexpected 15% gap, 20% gap down in price or more? No. The stop gets triggered, but they can only give you what the market is trading for at that time. We've all probably had large losses using stop orders in unexpected events. It is just assumed insurance. Of course, a popular approach is we could reward ourselves. I could sell a deep in the money covered call for protection, lowering my cost basis, and increase the profit. 
With the stock at 74, we could sell the January 70 call for 535. This is going to lower our cost basis down to 59.22, our new break even, around a 19% decline with the stock trading at $74. This would also increase the potential return to 18% if the stock remains above 70. But it's capped, and we don't have protection beyond a 19% decline. What do we want? Well, we want a way to lock in our profits, a guaranteed way, better than a stop order. We want to generate income. We want to reward ourselves with the stock at these higher prices to also help us lower our cost basis. And at the same time, we want to leave the upside open for further profits or a positive earnings surprise. And that would be the hat trick for locking in gains. And we can lock in gains following the concepts in the blueprint course. With the proper structure, we can lock in a good amount of those unrealized gains guaranteed much better than a stop order. We can get that insurance through the next earnings and the following earnings after that if we choose and generate income while leaving our upside open. The first goal, stock insurance. And this is a tool that's available on Power Options or the Fusion subscription service at RadioactiveTrading.com. We simply go into the insurance tool, input our stock, and input the cost basis. Now we can evaluate the potentials. The tool does all the math for me. Here we see we have an unrealized profit of $9.68, or about 15%. We're shown the puts that we can purchase against our lower cost basis, locking in 10.7, 10 10.5, 9.6%, two-thirds of the unrealized profit locked in with leaving the upside open. Now we want to check the graph and view that negative risk, that bulletproof position. We have shares of stock at 64.57. We can buy the February 80 put for 8.45. This does increase the cost basis to $73.02 per share, but we're guaranteed to get $80 back in the worst case scenario. So that means anywhere below 80, we have a guaranteed profit of $6.98 or 9.6% on the position. If the stock fell down below $60 per share to $59, we'd still have a profit of 9.6%, where with that covered call, we'd be down a little bit and below the break-even. If earnings disappoint and the stock craters down to $52, $53 per share, a big move downwards, but again, we're still guaranteed a profit where we'd be losing even if we had sold half and lowered our cost basis to $55.14. This is a stronger alternative, but we have two other things we want to do. Our second goal, generate income. We want to reward ourselves for the higher price stock that we picked and for picking the right stock as well. And this can be done right from that insurance tool. In addition to selecting the buy put month to see our locked in profit, we can select a sell call month to see the calls that are available. We can now see the new locked-in profit of this combination collar trade, as well as see the new potential returns that are all higher than the current liquidation value, still with having two-thirds of the unrealized profits locked in. But this would leave us with a capped upside. We still have no ways to lose. We have a maximum potential profit of 16.5%, so we did increase our liquidation return. We still have a guaranteed profit of almost 12% to the downside if the stock craters. Much better than the stop order. Much better than selling half of the position if the stock really falls in price. But again, with earnings coming up, what else do we want to do? We want to complete the hat trick and we want to leave the upside open. One of the income methods in the blueprint, a riskless spread trade, we could still get that income by selling the 80 call and then buy a higher strike call as well. Wait, this isn't riskless. This is a bear call credit spread. I'm going to have to put up the monetary requirement, and there's a big chance for a loss if the stock goes up above $83, $84, $85 per share. 
But in the proper structure, the married put position to lock in our gains, plus this riskless spread trade income method, solves all of our problems. We lock in gains so we can go through earnings with no fear and through the unknown uncertainty heading into 2022. We get to generate income to reward ourselves at the higher prices and picking the right stock. This also increases the bulletproof status and our guaranteed return even if the stock falls going through earnings. And at the same time, we leave the upside open for further potential profits. And simple tools to help. You can take a trial to Power Options, use the insurance tool there, and see what locked-in profits are in store for you and your income potential at the same exact time. But most importantly, the perfect guide, the blueprint course at RadioactiveTrading.com, the proper structure to lock in gains or properly protect new positions going forward. Full discussion on the 12 different income methods and adjustments you can use for different market conditions. Take a look at other riskless spread trades and ways to manipulate that put option, your second working asset in the proper structure. There's also full chapters on combining income methods, exiting the radioactive trade, case studies, and much, much more.